As the sun dipped low in the sky, casting elongated shadows across the cluttered workshop of Jasper Lark, Eliza Wyndham stepped inside. The air was thick with the scent of varnish and fabric, a testament to the vibrant chaos of kites in various stages of completion surrounding her. Yet, an unsettling stillness lingered, a stark contrast to the usual bustling energy of the place. Eliza was determined to uncover the truth behind Jasper's mysterious disappearance, despite the skepticism of the townsfolk and local officials. Kneeling beside a half-finished kite, its colors muted in the dim light, she noticed a faint rustle. A crumpled note lay beneath a stack of fabric. Carefully unfolding it, her heart raced as she read the hastily scrawled words, Meet me at the cliffside. We must talk before the festival. The ink was smudged, suggesting urgency. This was a clue, a piece of the puzzle that might lead her to Jasper. The festival was approaching, and time was of the essence. Eliza knew she had to act quickly, her mind racing with possibilities. Oliver Reed, the elderly kite enthusiast, peered over Eliza's shoulder, his spectacles precariously perched on his nose. His voice trembled with curiosity as he inquired, What have you found, Eliza? She showed him the note, explaining its potential significance. It seems Jasper was meeting someone. But who? She pondered aloud, her mind a whirlwind of possibilities. Oliver's brow furrowed in thought. Jasper had many acquaintances, but few close friends. You should speak to Marigold Finch. She was often seen around here. Eliza nodded, her determination solidifying. She carefully tucked the note into her pocket, ensuring she maintained the chain of evidence. As she exited the workshop, the distant sounds of the festival echoed, a stark contrast to the tension she felt. The festival was a joyous occasion for the town, but for Eliza, it was a reminder of the urgency of her task. She would not let the adults dismiss her concerns. With each step, she felt the weight of the mystery pressing upon her, urging her to uncover the secrets that lay hidden beneath the colorful facade of the Kite Festival. The sun continued its descent, casting an orange hue over the town, painting a picturesque yet deceptive scene. Eliza's resolve deepened with each passing moment. She would not be swayed by the dismissive attitudes of the adults around her. The mystery of Jasper's disappearance was a weight pressing upon her, urging her to uncover the secrets that lay hidden beneath the colorful facade of the kite festival. The festival, with its vibrant kites and cheerful atmosphere, was a stark contrast to the tension and urgency she felt. Eliza knew that time was of the essence, and she was determined to follow every lead, no matter how small. Her investigation was just beginning, and she was prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As she moved through the town, the sounds of the festival grew louder, a reminder of the joyous occasion that was unfolding around her. But for Eliza, the festival was merely a backdrop to the mystery she was determined to solve. She would not rest until she had uncovered the truth.